Hey guys, welcome to the video where today I'm going to be making some Halloween slime. Happy Halloween everyone. Um, I hope you're all safe. I don't know if um, you guys will even be going to the thing. I know I'm not, but I don't know how that works. It's 2020 and Rona is still here. So I don't know. Will you guys go to the thing? I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. Anywho, nonetheless, happy Halloween. Um, yeah, I haven't... I haven't made a slime video since March and that's a lot that is seven months and I haven't made slime in eight months because even though my video was posted in March I actually made a slime in February but I didn't post the video until March because I, I remember being really packed with work and I didn't really get the time to do so to post it so I've actually haven't made slime in eight months and it's October now so that is eight months so this is kind of also like a little test if I can make if I can still make good slime. But this is like a tradition now to like make Halloween slime. Um, I made one for 2018, 2019, and now 2020. So if you guys want to go check those out, those will be linked down below. So, anyways, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I will be using is my iconic bowl that I've been using for literally years. And then this year I'm going to be making a green slime and to mix. Um, the stuff with I'm using a pen. I'm using the back of the pen and then I'm going to be using some slime activator Which mine is borax and water which I have in this clear glue container And I'm also going to be using some extra flying glitter and it is green um, For the add-ins another add-in I'm going to be using these little beads which I actually picked out myself before the video um, I just chose like Halloween colors. So I have here. I have orange um purple clear and then i also have black so i pick this all out from like a rainbow pack then obviously i'm going to be using some glue i'm using elmer's clear glue and i'm using this gallon so the first thing i'm just going to be doing is pouring in the glue obviously and then I'm going to be pouring in the food coloring. I didn't want a lot. Um, I just kind of wanted to be a little bit green. Um, not like a dark green. Not really. So for my past two slimes, Halloween slimes, they've all been um, orange. And one was black. But this year I decided to switch it up and use green. And it also fits the theme perfectly. So the next thing is the glitter. I'm just adding a little bit of glitter. I also don't want it to be like super glittery but I still want it to be there and then I always do this by just adding some water into my slime a little bit into my clear slimes only and then I'm going to be activating it with the activator just pouring it in stirring pouring more in you guys know the drill already I don't need to explain this So yeah, just adding in the activator until it is um, good enough to hold in your hands and knead. And with a snap of my fingers, there you go. So as you may notice, it is actually a slight bit overactivated. And that is on purpose because a tip here, in order to make a really good clear slime, you need to make sure to overactivate it just a little bit. At least if you want it to be thick because whenever you leave it out to see, to clear the bubbles, it will melt a little bit so that is why you want to make sure to overactivate it just a slight bit and here I'm going to be mixing the slime with the beads and join
So as you can see the beads are falling off and that is because it is a little bit overactivated so it can't really they can't really stick as well. But that will totally be fixed once we let this sit and it can clear up and just get softer. So since this is clear sign, we obviously have to let it clear up. So what I'm doing is just putting it into an airtight container and leaving it out for a week in order for the bubbles to rise up and it to clear up, clear up completely. So yeah, just leave it out for a week and this is how it came out. As you can actually see, I added in more glitters. I don't know if you can notice or not, but I just thought it didn't have enough glitters. And as you can see, it is so beautiful and clear and amazing. I'm really happy with how this came out actually. So just enjoy this ASMR and this satisfying glee. So as you can see, there is no more bead fallout at all since um, we let this seat out. It is now sticky enough for you to hold the beads in as I expected. So for this being the slime, the first time I made it in 8 months, I think it came out amazing. It came out perfect. There is literally nothing wrong with it. So I'm pretty proud of myself for that. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below and also subscribe if you have not already. And also don't forget to go check out the ones from 2018 and 2019 and which one is your favorite. This is my favorite because it's so pretty and I love the texture so much. Um, I think I just keep getting better each year. But that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.